thank you for clicking on this video my name is curly dimples welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome 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 one welcome all to the curly gang i am from anguilla if you don't know so if you're wondering oh wow should i subscribe to her channel uh yeah you should because i make videos about my beautiful island anguilla i also make videos about natural hair and all things travel if you're interested in that kind of stuff please subscribe to my channel i really like that in today's video i'm gonna be talking about my cinderella story my Cinderella experience. This relates to the opportunity I had to go to my high school prom. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff and you'd really like to know a little bit more about me and how I was able to have the night of my dreams, then stay tuned. My Cinderella story. My prom experience. I mean, it's every girl's dream to go to prom, especially here in Anguilla where we only have one prom and it's like our senior prom. This is the last formal gathering with your classmates before you're done with secondary education. And so this is a big deal for a lot of us, myself included. I really wanted to have that prom experience. I considered myself to be a girly girl in school. And so I really wanted to have that grand finale of girly, girly stuff. You know, I really want the nice dress, I wanted the heels, I wanted the makeup, I wanted the hair, I wanted the light, the camera, the action. I wanted all of it. Naturally, I've been talking about it with my mom for forever. I would, you know, say like, oh my God, look at this dress. And back then, looking at beige dresses, I really like the big can can, the big poofy dress. That's what I wanted. I wanted to look literally like a princess. Like Cinderella, knock knock, there's competition, it's me. I really wanted all of that, but with a very, very small budget because I had a huge Suit 16 party. Like it was massive and I had a really nice tailored dress and that was a gift from my mom and stepdad. It was really, really nice. Prom was literally the year after and things just really went bad for us economically. It was really, really a tough time and I remember feeling so sad. <laughs> because I wasn't told a definite no, but the lack of interest and effort made, I could tell that it's not something that we can afford to do. And so, I don't know, I was talking about it a lot with my friends, and um, I realized that it won't be a reality for me. You know, yes, Tante? Yeah? Bella! Bella! Bells! Come, Bells! The dog. The theme for my prom was shine bright like a diamond, a red carpet affair. It was like flashy, right? Just beautiful, flashy. That was the theme. But two weeks before prom, this beautiful girl, she was a cheerleader and she was just a beautiful girl. She was on Purple House, which is like the most popular athletic house and school. And she was very pretty, very, very pretty girl. Like, you know, one of the pretty girls, like, oh my God, she reached out to me. Her name is Brittany and she was about two, two years older. She contacted me. She said, I asked someone for your number. I just really wanted to know if you were going to prom. And I was honest and transparent. I was like, oh, I really would have wanted to, but I can't go. I think she asked me if she can call me. And I was like, okay, thank you. Know. And then she was like, uh, I have, cause she was into lots of pageantry. She was like, I have about three dresses that would be able to fit you. I was wondering if I can bring them over and you can just have a look. I said, okay. I told my mom, I was like, mom, you know, it really just called me and you know, she would want to like, let me try on her dresses and stuff. And so we went to this really nice location. We waited for her to come and she came with a black bag, like a Santa bag. <laughs> she came with a big black sack and she had three dresses. She had a green poofy one that was about knee high, a purple one that was long sleeve and lacy. And she had this beautiful 
blue and purple dress that was like a kang kang dress it went all the way down the top was beautiful it had it was beautiful it was beautiful and so i tried it on in the mirror and i started to cry and my mom was so emotional and she was sitting we were all looking at me in the mirror then they were on the bed in the back and, I, and it was so emotional and she had these diamond like stilettos like silver stiletto shoes and she told me try them on and they were a perfect fit honestly i i can't make it up it humbled me so much that she she made such a contribution to me and uh, i don't want to cry <laughs> i don't want to cry but she let me get through the story after trying it on like oh my god this could ha this is happening i can i can go to prom <laughs> like this is happening for me this is happening but she was like okay i'm gonna reach out to some people i'm gonna try to book you a hair appointment nail appointment etc and this was my first time getting makeup professionally done she looked up hairstyles online and like she did a really nice hairstyle they were like it was slick and the back was like intertwined and they had the little diamond insults in the back and it was like big and pretty and slick it was gorgeous it was absolutely gorgeous and we booked a nail appointment and i did my nails in blue purple everything just looked so flawless the dress was a little too tight because i'm a bit busty my mom took the dress and we went to a seamstress and she got it laced in the back like because I, I couldn't zip all the way up so there was lace in the back intertwining lace it looked really nice it was so beautiful i didn't take a lot of photos unfortunately but i do have some to share and this is one of them teachers were taking my photo and people were like oh my god you're so beautiful like i heard the word maybe a billion times that night and she also borrowed her cousin's car he had gotten a brand new white car i don't know if it was his birthday or something she picked me up in this car she chaperoned me she drove she literally chaperoned the whole thing from dress makeup nails hair picking me up she took me there she wore so many hats that day and she drove me to the prom what she did for me was incredible i arrived too late for the entrances because you know they're you know you can have the best entrance right some people have fireworks i think the girl that had fireworks she won best entrance and you know many many things but i came too late for the judgment of the entrance but I still had a wonderful time. Like there were lots of like civilians, like people in the community standing behind the gates, taking pictures of those that went to prom because prom is a big deal in Anguilla, you know, especially for the parents and well-wishers, it's a big deal. And so my cousin, Kim, uh, I asked him if he can escort me out of the car, which he did. When I arrived to the Cuisinart gate, he swapped places with Brittany and he sat in the driver's seat and then he drove me in and then he did a turn in the car and then popped me right in the front of the red carpet and he came and he opened my door and spinned me like a princess and I did a little cutsy and then I walked in. It was simple, it was beautiful and I couldn't ask for more. And I remember as we were driving there, my favorite song was playing from the local bands on Island. This is No Ordinary Night by Exodus HD. Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. Beautiful, the song was playing. This is a no ordinary, no ordinary night. And it was playing and it was playing. I was feeling so, you know, hyped. This is no ordinary night. This is no ordinary experience. I am going to prom. <laughs> and then I arrived and there were people taking my photos. There was a red carpet and I wear glasses. And I didn't have contacts and so the whole night I was pretty blind walked with my glasses but I didn't wear them because it was just so pretty without them people were taking my photograph I was so excited you know because here I was literally I wasn't going to prom and on top of it nobody had asked me to go to prom like and that's like a lot of people don't believe that but it's true like I no one proposed to me for prom at all but what was so ironic was when I got there, so many of my male friends, they all wanted to dance with me. It kind of worked out because I didn't have a date, so I didn't feel obligated to do the whole matching outfit. So, you know, the whole you have to dance with this person. And I danced with my friends and I had a really nice time. And there were judges there because, you know, there's best dress, best hair. And I didn't win anything, but what I got out of that experience five years later was the best. The best award 
I could have ever asked for. And what she taught me from a fellow young person, what she did for me, I can never put a price tag on it. I could never repay her. All I can do is pay it forward. All I can do is pay it forward, which I plan to do because <laughs> Brittany, she really was my favorite godmother. She really took it upon herself to make sure that I had a wonderful night and a memory that I will cherish forever. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, please comment this video with your prom pictures. If you want, I don't know if you can comment pictures, but <laughs> please comment your prom experience or your if you had a similar Cinderella story. If someone did something so impactful in your life that you will never forget, please comment down below, share your story so we can have a little community down below where we can just be humble and share optimism and happy thoughts down in the comment sections and just have an environment that is filled with love. As I do hope to foster love on my channel, I do hope to encourage, I do hope to pay it forward, I do hope to, you know, be a, a light, a shining beacon of light, you know, I really do hope to inspire. I was not very comfortable in initially sharing this story because you know, it's a very personal story and it does stem from hardship. And so I decided why not? It might inspire someone else. So why not? Why not? You know? So I'm really happy I did. I feel really good saying this story. I was in a bad mood earlier, but this story just, you know, made me so happy. <laughs> so thank you guys again so much for watching i'm getting closer and closer to the screen because i'm gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel so i might make you a little bit uncomfortable but it's only because i would really like for you to subscribe to my channel yeah is that okay thank you thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you